26 September 2022 Morning Murli Om Shanti Babdada Madhuban Sweet children, the spiritual father has created this sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rutra. You Brahmins are protectors of the sacrificial fire. You are becoming praise worthy, but you cannot be worshipped. Question What will the state of your children be when you have been completely enlightened with knowledge? Answer At that time, your state will remain unshakable and immovable. No type of storm of Maya will shake you. You will have reached your karmatid stage because you don't yet have full enlightenment of knowledge. You have storms and dreams of Maya, etc. This is a battlefield. New desires will emerge, but you mustn't be afraid of them. Take Srimad from the Father and continue to move forward. Song Having found you, I have found everything. The earth and sky all belong to me. Om Shanti your children have heard the song many times. Now stabilize yourself in its meaning. Hold on to the aim of now claiming your unlimited inheritance from the unlimited father. The one whom we have been remembering for half the cycle. Raven snatches away your inheritance. But people of the world do not know this. Only your children know this. This is the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. It doesn't belong to a human being. Even Prajapita did not create the sacrificial fire. This is the sacrificial fire of Rudra, the ocean of knowledge. That is, Shiv created the sacrificial fire. Various types of sacrificial fire are created. They say, Daksh Prajapita creates them. There is no Daksh Prajapita. Brahma is Prajapita, means father of humanity. Where did the name Daksh Prajapita come from? The father sits here and explains that has been created wrongly. Many tall stories have been written in the scriptures. Now the father says, forget all the things you have been listening to and listen to that which I tell you. There would only be one Prajapita. All the sacrificial fires that those people create are material sacrificial fires. This is the spiritual sacrificial fire created by the spiritual father for which Brahmins are required. Those Brahmin priests are a physical creation whereas you are a mouthbound creation. Those who are born through the mouth cannot be worshippers. You are becoming worthy of worship, whereas they are worshippers. You became praiseworthy, but cannot be worshipped now. It is wrong to worship bodily beings. Only the deities of the golden age are pure. Hindus have the custom of telling a wife that her husband is her god, her guru her everything. So she would wash the feet of her husband and drink the water. Nowadays that custom no longer exists. In a civil marriage they do not use the words your husband is your guru and god etc. All of that is deceit. Which is why they have created the picture of Lakshmi massaging the feet of Narayan. They think that she used to do those things and that a Hindu wife should therefore also do that. Can a half-partner be made to do such things? There are many varieties of people. And so, they create pictures of whatever customs they see. How could it be possible for Lakshmi to massage the feet of Narayan there? The father says, I come and massage the feet of Draupadi. However, they have shown the form of Krishna. 
all of those stories are useless. There, Ram does not have four brothers. There, they only have one son. So where did the four children come from? The father says, I explained the essence of all those scriptures to you. Those things are explained to your children so that you can explain them to others. The father says, the oath they all take is false. They say that Krishna spoke the Gita. People hold a Gita in their hand and say, I recognize God to be present everywhere. And I will tell the truth. They do not say, I recognize God Krishna to be everywhere. Only of God do they say this. Now remove this aspect of Krishna being the God of the Gita from your intellects. Because they take false out, they have no strength left. Only the one Dharam Raj is accurate. He is the true supreme judge. There are no judges etc. in the golden age because such things don't happen there. All of you will go there after settling your karmic accounts. You will then start again at the beginning and go through the stages of Satupratan, Sato, Rajo and Tamo. Everything you see definitely changes from new to old. The world also changes from new to old. This is an old world. But how old it is, no one knows. Everything is always divided equally into four. There are also four ages. The world is new at first, then it becomes a quarter old, then half old, and then completely old. It becomes ready to totally fall apart. The duration of the cycle is 5000 years. You have now reached the end of it. During your final birth, you claim your inheritance from the father for 21 births. You take 21 births in the golden and silver ages. Then why do you take 63 births in the copper and iron ages? Because when souls became impure, the lifespan of their bodies is reduced. For half a cycle, the lifespan is long. You are now studying yoga. Your children haven't come here to study yoga or remembrance. You come here to listen to the Murli personally. You love the Murlis very much. You can have yoga wherever you sit. When the time of the student's examination is close, wherever he it sits, only the things of the examination will be going around in his intellect. Here, you are studying and having yoga simultaneously. You also have to remember the one who is teaching you. The father says, remember me alone. They have inserted Krishna's name by mistake. Sannyasis etc. don't remember Krishna. So, who said Man Manabhav? The Brahma element cannot say this. The father takes the support of this mouth and say, Children, remember me alone. All of these points have to be imbibed by your intellects and then explained to others. The people of the Congress party used to speak so loudly and their leader was Bapuji, means Gandhi. That one was a physical father. Whereas this is a spiritual father. Gandhi cannot be everyone's father. Shibaba is everyone's father. Brahma is also a father. But it is only you who know this at this time. The whole world will not recognize this because they have no understanding of it. Here we call incorporeal Shibaba Bapu. He is the father of all. He explains so many points to the children, sometimes about souls, sometimes about the Supreme Soul and sometimes about the scriptures. There are countless scriptures in Bharat. People of other religions only have one scripture. Here there are innumerable scriptures, followers, just say true, true to everything they hear. They don't have any aim or objective. For instance, there is the path of 
Radhaswami. They have given the name Radhaswami. But the Swami means the Lord of Radhe. It's Krishna. In fact, the form of Krishna is not as the people of Bharat recognize it. Radhe is a Kumari and Krishna is a Kumar. Therefore, how could Krishna be called a Lord? It is only after their marriage when they became Lakshmi and Narayan that he would be called a Lord. In childhood, they play together, so he is not a true Lord. There are many who even break their engagement. Now they show Lakshmi and Narayan. But what was the name of Narayan's father? They cannot tell you that. They show Krishna's mother and father. The mother and father of Krishna were different from Radhe's. Shri Krishna came from one place and Radhe from another. They have mixed up every aspect of the golden age. What were the names of the fathers of Lakshmi and Narayan? Where did Narayan take birth? No one knows that Radha and Krishna later became Lakshmi and Narayan. The father says there is so much paraphernalia on the path of devotion. On the path of knowledge, only the seed has to be understood. When you have knowledge of the seed, the whole tree enters your intellect. You understand that God, who is the highest on high, lives in the supreme abode together with all souls. Only Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar reside in the subtle region. Brahma and Vishnu take rebirth but Shankar doesn't. Just as Shibaba, it's subtle. So too is Shankar. Therefore, they have combined Shiv and Shankar. However, in reality, they are separate. Shri Baba inspires establishment through Brahma, sustenance through Vishnu, and destruction through Shankar. Brahma becomes Vishnu, Saraswati, and Brahma became Lakshmi and Narayan. This applies to you as well because you too belong to the deity clan. The father explains all the secrets. But those who imbibe them are number wise. Whatever efforts each one made to claim a status, that same effort is being made now. A reward cannot be created without effort being made. It is understood from someone's effort how much effort that individual made a cycle ago as well. At present, you are studying. The rosaries of Rudra and Vishnu are remembered, but there is no rosary of Brahmins because you are all effort makers. Today, you are moving along well, but tomorrow, Maya may punch you. But the rosary of Rudra has been created, you will be transferred. Brahmins are effort makers. Today, they are moving along well but tomorrow they fall and so a rosary cannot be created previously baba used to create a rosary but those who were in the third or fourth place are no longer here this is a battlefield if you don't understand something ask about it because you also have to explain to others those who are weak become confused. Brahmins are also nabravise. Some even ask, Baba has explained that many storms of Maya will come. And so, how can we gain victory over them? If a teacher has not experienced this, how could she explain? The father explains that storms and dreams of Maya will come until you have gained complete enlightenment of knowledge and have reached your karmatid stage. At this time, many storms will come. An elderly person will become young 
and more and more new desires will be created. You say that you never had those thoughts before. It is only now that you have come onto the battlefield. Herbalists say that the sickness will erupt with their medicine. Baba is experienced. He tells you everything. You must not be afraid of this. Some say, I don't know what has happened since I came and the knowledge. Devotion was better than this. Baba says, by all means, go and do devotion. The storms will not come to you there. Baba explains everything. The intellects of those who listen to this every day are able to embed these things. The main thing is to put this knowledge into practice. You may then go anywhere. You will continue to receive murlays. They cannot be forbid you from reading murlays and the military. The military would not be told not to study the Bible or the grant etc. They study everything. They even have their temples. So, you can receive murlays anywhere. You have also been given an aim. The main thing is to give the father's introduction. First of all, have the faith that the one who is teaching us is the knowledgeable one, God the Father. They will then understand the other things. No one knows how God the Father comes and teaches. It has also been written that God speaks and that his name is Shif. He is the supreme soul. Param means supreme. Everyone resides in the supreme abode means Paramdham. Someone among the souls has to play the supreme part. He is called the creator, the director and the principal actor. He is the creator and current Karavanhar. Nevertheless, he also plays a part. He enters this one and plays such a huge part that Bharat becomes heaven. Highest on high, Shri Baba came. But what did he do when he came? They don't understand anything. They have made the lifespan of the cycle very long. The father says, I have to come at the end of the Iron Age and the beginning of the Golden Age. It was the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan in the Golden Age. The world was pure. We were pure and we then became impure. How the stages of ascent and descent take place is now in your intellect. The father says, Children, continue to give the father's introduction to everyone, since the father is the creator of heaven. We should definitely receive the kingdom of heaven. Bharat had this, but it no longer exists. This is why God has to come. Bharat is the birthplace of Shri Baba. He came and made you into the presence of heaven. You have not forgotten this. This is a game of forgetting and not forgetting. By forgetting this knowledge, you go into the stage of descent. The stage of ascent is liberation in life in a second. For how long did you live in bondage? These things are not written in the scriptures. There is the story of Janak. The father says, forget everything you have studied. I am your father, teacher and Sadguru. I give you the inheritance for 25 births. In spite of that, O oh Maya, you bury my children in the graveyard. Shri Baba makes you into residents of land of angels, but because of many children do not follow Srimad accurately, Maya deceives them. Acha to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, 
and good morning from the mother, the father, Bhaktara. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dhatna. First point, definitely study the Murli every day. Don't be afraid of the storms of Maya. In order to be saved from any kind of desert, continue to take Srimat. Second point, this study and yoga are together. Therefore, remember the father, the one who teaches you. Make your intellect have faith and make others the same. Give the father's introduction to everyone. Blessing. May you be a karma yogi and constantly perform elevated actions with your physical organs while seated on an immortal throne. Explanation. A karma yogi is one who is seated on an immortal throne. That is, he is the master of himself and also has a right to the father's inheritance of the fortune of the kingdom. The actions of those who always perform actions while seated on their immortal thrones are elevated because all their physical organs function are under law and order. If someone doesn't have the position of the throne, there cannot be law and order. Souls seated on their thrones always perform right actions and eat the instant fruit of right actions. Such souls receive happiness and also power. Slogan Those who love the Brahmin culture are loved by Father Brahma. Om Shanti